all right so what is going on today to youtube now this is going to be a very different video because i definitely was not going to be playing this deck i just kind of thought of it uh just sitting around just to see how busted you know you guys already know how i get down with my decks uh, we do some crazy stuff now if you can already tell what i'm playing i'm playing something uh because we did play the uh oh now that's just good um oh damn it now why don't we get rid of unit zombie in this situation all right so if you guys wait what did i play with warriors it was oh it was elemental saber so i was playing with that deck and i felt like that card was pretty good like the zold is just a really good um card so also what's the name came out with one of his decks um oh that still didn't oh i did put it in here thank god all right so um oh wait what are, I, I can just go needle fiber with this right um i actually can't do anything with this play what am i doing um, i actually can't do anything with this huh if I go needle fiber, then what? That's this is it, right? And I can't Mizuki anything. Um, actually, can't do nothing with this hand. I could. I can't go to a level three. I would have to draw something good. I mean, you know what? Actually, get the two star out of the deck. I can get a plague out of the deck, but then I can't. I can't link into anything. Um, hmm. What should we do? Should we go start as charge warrior to try to get lucky? I feel like we should this is try to get lucky but yeah so what was i saying uh yeah so i pretty much uh built a deck that we can use some all right we didn't get lucky but we got a moon mirror shield i pretty much built the deck so we can utilize uh what do you call it we can utilize the one card uh known as uh <clears throat> he's old and all this other stuff and then also i know this is terrible explaining but also lithium came out with a video with the old um Ken Teneladad and stuff. Ken Teledad or Tele Undead or Synchro Undead or something like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. And I always like that deck. So I decided to make a fun little uh mix of I was gonna make just a pure um what do you call it? A pure uh dang it, I can't can't remember what I'm talking about. A pure uh like Teledad Undead deck. But I said, you know what, let's just put some warriors in it. And let's go that way because eventually, you know, it set up to that. And then I added some hero kids so we can go from there. And it, it just looks like we're losing today, folks. This is uh, we might be losing turn one. But, yeah, uh, I decided to, you know, put some hero kids and it's a lot of warriors. And then I also noticed that um, Red Resonator and Armageddon Knight is an Isolde. No, actually, it's a Christian Needle Fiber and two, two Omegas or, you know, two level eights. So that's just busted i feel like it's i feel like it's pretty good um so yeah that's definitely another reason why i built this deck because red resonator armageddon knight is immediately uh like i said uh what do you call it is immediately um jesus you had double fossil deck why is that card not at one but yeah you <clears throat> it's immediately double level eight with a link so then you'll be good with all your needs and stuff like that and then also with uh with Isolde, if you have like a goblin, um, like a uh, if you go goblinberg into a um, Armageddon Knight, even though you can't get Armageddon Knight's effect, um, <clears throat> you can still do more with that, you know. Or you can go into uh, Armageddon Knight, dump a Mali, and then that's already two for Nizold, and then you can dump two special summon hero kid, and then when you special summon hero kid, that's a basically Armageddon Knight is a one card skull deed. Uh, yeah, it just, it just gets pretty cool. So you guys are going to see. I know it's all convoluted, everything I was just talking about. But you guys are going to understand. He had three fossil... Di no, two... Fo wait, what? So he hard drew the miscellaneous source. <laughs> no, not the miscellaneous. He hard drew this and he had double fossil dig. That, I'm just, like I said, I'm just losing today, folks. I don't think there's... I think I, I think I lose. But yeah, at first I was going to be playing Shino Baron. Like I literally recorded the duels and all that. But um, yeah, it was just... Um, it was just not going to work. That deck is really like Vindreds are bad, but sh like Shino Birds or Barons or however you say it is just worse because the reason why is that they only have three ritual spells like the problem with Vindreds. At least Vindreds are a little better because they can search it. Besides that, like you can't search it. There's one way to get it, which is pre prep. You can't play preparation because there's no level seven or lower. And you can't use your normal summon for Manju because uh, they have stuff like they have a they have a Stratos and they also have a double summon, which really helps the deck. And um, yeah, it's just it just does not work. Um, it, it was an aggro version. What is he doing? 
Okay, well, we can easily do that. Um, what does it say? If, it went, if a normal monster would be destroyed on the field. So this is a dino, right? Um, yeah, I guess we can do this. If we can go needle fiber. Do we want to go needle fiber? We can go needle fiber, right? And get some cards out. But if we must... Actually, that's skull deed, huh? That is a skull deed. We can run with that, I guess. Oh wait, I can't use. Oh, I couldn't use this because it was in the zone. Uh, uh, we can put that to the bottom of the deck because we don't want it. And we're gonna activate needle fiber to get out a was a unit zombie. Yeah, I think a unit zombie. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna see what we can actually do with this. This is actually a pretty fun deck. Uh, I'm definitely going to get a Unizombie because we can possibly do some stuff with this. Because we can Skull Deep. Have we Normal Summoned? Yeah, we Normal Summoned Plague. So, actually, we can get a two star tuner out. Um, yeah, so let's just get this out. I feel like that's a lot better to get. And then we can use this for that. What is the level three I can go into? What? Oh, Skull Deep. Skull Deep. I could have went to a Skull Deep. Uh, or a Borolo, but we're not, we're not about to mess with that today. Hopefully, this doesn't get Ash Blossoms because then that's really going to hurt because <laughs> we're not going to be able to do anything. And I feel like it is going to be an Ash Blossom, so we're not going to be able to do anything, folks. Um, matter of fact, no, we are going to be able to do some stuff. Oh, that was even better. Actually, I can do that Skull Kid. But since I only play one, we're not going to be able to do anything fancy with that. Okay, so we can definitely put back this. Um, uh, heroes, and we can put back Mally. Do I want to put back Mally? Because what I'm going to do is special summon Unizombie. Unizombie is going to dump out of my hand. But um, I can actually... Hmm. I'm trying to see what I can do here. Because... If I keep this hero kid, I can special summon it with this, and then it's gonna special summon two more hero kids. Then I can go into Nizolt, dump two things, and add another card to my hand. And then I can dump four and special summon like a mist, a shadow mist, stack for plague. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's actually keep that. Let's put Resonator callback and a Mizuki because we can just go ahead and search all of that. So bam, bam, bam. So we're going to use this. We still have the plague. Special summon this hero kit, and we're going to get two of these extra cards. And yeah, bam, that's going to trigger. We're going to get two more. We can go into Nizolt. We can search a Goblinberg for next turn. Uh, we can save the strike for his uh, his his beastie. Uh, what's the name? You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're going to special summon as many as we can. That doesn't matter. Like I said, we're going to get rid of this anyways because we could stack for play here. Why did I think I can go into what's the name? It's, it's okay because I, I know what I was doing. Actually, we can go. We can use two of these to go into what's the name. Yeah, we can use two of these to go into Mrs. Radiant. Is that going to help us get game? It might help us get game. Do we have a... Oh, we have one. Hmm, I'm trying to see if we can get game here. Because if I go into a Mrs. Radiant with these two, it's going to bump by 500 because we're going to pop this. Um, no, let's not do that. Let's just go into this because, like I said, we're going to pop it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we're going to activate Isolde. We're going to add uh, a what's the name? We're going to add a Goblin Bird for next turn. And then we could dump forward a special summon a Shadow Mist and then we can stack. Um... We can just stack what's in there. Yeah, we can just stack for plague. We can actually stack the Mally and then search it with, you know, what's in with a shadow mist. So let's go ahead and add the Goblin Berg. And then we can use uh, Isolde's effect. And then this is going to special summon. Um, yeah, because we have four equip spells. Don't, don't, please don't. You know what? This is just a test deck. Please don't get upset. Is this is the bustedness that we need to go to? All right, we need to get this where this is how far we need to get with this. I possibly should have summoned this in defense mode. Um, <laughs> uh, actually, no, 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 no. We're, we're good. We're good. I, I don't know what he keeps waiting on. 
So let's get this shadow mist. Oh, the effect wasn't negated. It could have went. Oh, okay. Well, that well that kind of sucks. Oh, wait. Well, you can. No, no, no. Let's stack for plague. Oh, we don't play Brio no more. We could have bounced this whole board. We don't play Brio no more, folks. It's okay though. We're not losing anything. We're actually going to be actually we're going to be at a very good advantage because we can go Beatrice too. Um. Yeah, we can go Beatrice. And this is two dragons, huh? Yup. This is not a dragon, is it? It is a dragon. It is a dragon. That's nice. So not only is it a dragon, we can send it to the graveyard. Oh man, miscellaneous source. That's not gonna do anything, sir. Um once again, that's completely fine. Uh yeah, so you know, here's the deck. What else do I have in here? Oh, okay, I have that. So we can use this, discarding Mally, pop this. All right, so everything is at that. Um, oh, we can go, we can go into an Omega and draw a card. That's what we can do, huh? We can send these two for a what's in but that doesn't get me anywhere. Uh, let me see here. Hmm. I can either sink. I can either go to an Omega. I think going into Omega is a lot better than going into a Beatrice. Because Beatrice can dump me a Mizuki, but that doesn't get me nowhere. Yeah, it doesn't get me anywhere. I think this is the better play. Yeah. Let's use these two. Go into this. Get me a free draw. Bam. Coral Dragon. Let's see. Oh, we drew in the Lord of Darkness. That's just nice. So we can use this. Hold on. All right. So we're back. We're going to activate this allure. Join the double. What's the name? That sucks. So let's just use this because we can we can still get we can still get further. Bam. That's going to gain some attack. No. <clears throat> so how much is that? Is that a not is that actually it's not game. I know it's not game, but uh, I can go summon sorceress and then I can't take it. Then you can't target it, you can't book it either. Hmm. Uh, I can go summon sorceress. That'd be 27. That's actually not a lot. Yeah, we're going to activate this. Um, we're going to banish these hero kids because it doesn't matter. And yeah, another smart thing is that uh, what's the name is a, a warrior, which I did not know. And I like literally had a busted play. I could have did and I like literally didn't. Um, so let's go ahead and attack with I guess 31 to get the most damage. I know he's not playing Gores, but just in case, just in case he is playing Gores, folks, don't want to really give him anything. Actually, is that game? That's 5,000. Oh, wow. We're, we're just a couple off. We're a couple off. And this is why we should play double skull deed. This is why double skull. We have 600 off, actually. So I only have 100 seconds left, too. I felt like we could have got there. Um, yeah, we definitely could have got there. Because I could have went, that could have been 27. That actually would have been game. Because that would have been, what, 500 more? No, he still would have been left at 100. So now I can go, what's the name? I can go, ver, like, Veral Dragon. That might be the smartest thing to do here. Um, Is it? I feel like it is. I feel like it really is. I feel like, yes. Yeah, I feel like this is just the best option to go because not only can we get rid of some stuff. Is this a, dra it's a dragon now? So not only can we get rid of some stuff, we can do some good things. All right, so let's end our turn. Um, no, I don't want to chain that in the end phase. And then, yeah, we can just return a... Hmm, Mizuki here. No, I don't think I want to return Mizuka. I think I want to return play because we still have another Mally. Um, you know, you could possibly throw Colossal Fighter in here. That would have been like, that, that definitely would have been game. And that just would have been super fun to go into. <laughs> I feel like he's going to have a Geki or something. He might just immediately drop what's the name. And we, that, that might be his play. He might immediately drop the what's the name. Because the only thing he can get with uh, Miscellaneous Source is a uh, two star. So I don't think that's really. Oh wow, that's that's genuinely super good. Okay, so 
yeah we we have to we have to stop that that's that's just not gonna pop down today um you know what I actually we actually have to chain this because if we don't chain this all right, so if we didn't chain this, all right, there we go. We actually got the win. If we didn't chain this and he drops this, he since we know he has the two star in his hand, he could have popped it when I activated my Omega. Actually, he could have just attacked me and I could have used this. So, no, no, because if he would have popped it, then he would have continued to do more plays because that would have been four. Yeah, then he probably would have came back from there. All right, but we did get lucky. And come to think about it, it wouldn't have been four because he would have had to banish two to special summon that guy. So, yeah, I think we would have actually been all right. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Once again, this, once again, this is a work in progress. So, you can't really, you know, don't don't take this deck as completely uh, solidified. We're definitely still making some changes. We can do a bunch of more stuff, a bunch of different stuff. If you guys have any suggestions uh, of what I should add, what I should take out, or, you know, you know, whatever the case may be, just let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you guys do enjoy this content and you guys would like to support the channel, all I ask right now is to click and add. That'll be enough for me. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys in a couple more hours with another dual video, so stay tuned.